All right, what's up, everybody? We uh, we're here. We made it. We uh, got camp set up. It's the day before the opener, by the way. Um, it's been hot as heck. We're just hanging out in the camper, waiting for it to cool off. Uh, we got to run down and uh, put chairs in the blind and get everything situated and stuff like that, so we don't have to do it in the morning. Waiting for evening time before we do that. So we're just kind of hanging out, relaxing. Watching some Primo's Big Bulls, eating some snacks, trying to get Bob pumped up for tomorrow. We went down on the way in, and uh, we actually brought our mountain bike, so we're going to mountain bike into where the water hole is. So we did that on the way in just to check, make sure the blind was still there, make sure the trail camera's still there, make sure it still had an SD card in it, which we did not last time. Um, and everything's good to go. Everything was there. We had lots of pictures on the trail camera. 200 and something pictures. Lots of antelope. Lots of bucks. Nothing really gigantic, but some, some decent bucks for sure that we're probably going to keep an eye on, hopefully. The only thing that worries me is our water hole is getting a little low on water. <laughs> it's been extremely hot the last week, so... But there's, there's enough, there's a good amount there, so... Some good tracks there that we're seeing. And Lots of tracks and yeah, stuff. A little bit of algae, which is kind of a concern, but then we have another we have another water hole that we can go to when some friends of ours, uh, when they tag out, we can go up there and use that if we have to, if they stop coming into ours because of the algae and low water and stuff. So we have that as a backup plan. Yeah, so that's what we got going for now. Just going to uh, kick back here for a little bit and then uh, go get everything lined out for tomorrow. But uh, stay with us. Tomorrow should be good. Okay, we just made it to the blind after our about a mile or so bike ride, maybe a little bit more. Not really sure. Got all of our gear that we're gonna put in here tonight so it's ready. We don't have to dink around with it in the morning. Right out here next to us, we uh, spotted a, a nice antelope buck, probably coming to the water. <laughs> but uh, he ran off and he went right here behind the water and up, up and over, so. Should be interesting in the morning. We've got uh, we've got a camp not too far up here, and uh, they just cruised by on their uh, side by side or whatever the hell it is, and went down past our camp checking their checking their water. I'm assuming there's a spring up here a little ways that they were checking that I'm aware of, and then another one back over behind us here. So we've got some other hunters in here, but there's a lot of area in here. I like that buck. You know, he probably came from. You know, God knows where. So we're gonna get all this stuff thrown into the blind. Why don't you open her up there, Bob? Get everything situated so in the morning we can just get up and sit in there. Private property. Private. Let me catch you in here. Private property. There you go. <laughs> Got lots of stuff, chairs, waters. Got a little cooler there that I thought I'd test out. I'm just gonna leave that in here. We got, we'll probably put our water in here for now. And then uh, I think in the morning, I'll pack a bunch of Gatorades and stuff to bring in. We can keep our lunch in there. We've got some bags of ice and stuff at the at camp. I'll, I'll throw a bag of ice on my pack in a garbage bag so it didn't drip all over the place. And uh, we'll pour ice in that in the morning when we get in there. Should be good. All right, we're gonna get to it here, stay tuned.
good morning everybody opening day current situation snacks and lunch and snacks and more lunch and Bob almost dropping things yeah. currently 4 15 a.m. in the morning which is early and we're just kind of getting all of our stuff ready mainly snacks because anybody that's hunted ground blinds before knows that it's boring as hell most of the time and all you do is sit there and eat so we're packing plenty hopefully but uh, that's what we're doing now we're gonna gather some gear and then uh, here shortly we are going to bomb down there and get snugged into the blind for the day so stay tuned actually smiling today so I can't contain my excitement. <laughs> Anyways, the uh, long 18 hour day of sitting in this blind starts right now. The sun's coming up as you can tell by the glow off of my face. The sun will be lighting. Oh you're soon. glowing Jordan. Fresh. <laughs> Stick her head out the window and see if anything's coming. Decided to <laughs> stick his head relatively close to the window and go so face it. Somebody set the blind incorrectly. What? little buck though. And 
then shortly after we spotted another one way out, probably four or five hundred yards out, and uh, it was just kind of moving along, and he eventually went over the ridge, we couldn't see him anymore, but anyway, it's good, we've had a little action so far, it's starting to warm up, it's starting to get a little toasty. Good buck. I I couldn't get this. He came in so deep. I know. I looked up and I could see that he was hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm shooting so freaking fast. <laughs> I didn't have time to get it on the damn thing. And then I jumped at the shot. This goddamn <laughs> tripod setup. I looked up and I can stop. I see this one up. That's a buck. And then I, okay, I grab my stuff. I looked. He's looking at us. And here he came. I gave you a little nudge and he just came. He'd stopped a couple of times, you know, to look. Yeah, he's came right yeah. It. Freaking buck didn't even make it 20 yards. Sorry guys, that <laughs> my videoing skills is probably going to be really bad. I was dead asleep. I was dead asleep. And he kicked me in the foot to wake me up. And that buck is like 50 yards out. I didn't have no time to get my tripod set up. I had time to reach up and kick the GoPro on. And uh, I was just, obviously, as you can see, just hand-holding the phone. And uh, 
I jumped at the shot and oh man. 9.44, 45 opening morning, 25 yards. Yeah, perfect 25. Well, that was fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the same one from this morning, circled around. Okay. <coughs> no, this one's bigger. <coughs> yeah, and this one's narrower. Uh, didn't even make it 20 yards. Did you get a pass through? I couldn't I'm tell. sure I did because I could see because when he turned around you could see the blood shooting out the other side. Uh, I didn't look on the ground there, but that. that lighted knock didn't light up very much. It didn't do sure. shit. Of course, I jumped really bad though, so I couldn't see shit. <laughs> yeah, I hit the back of the blind and everything, so it was. And then this release, of course, is like a hot six going off. Yeah. I don't see my knock anywhere, but but yeah, it passed through because you you can see the hole on the other side. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, hey, right. should we do like everybody else on TV? We'll come back tomorrow and get him. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> we'll let him fester in the sun all day. Well, we're going to, uh, we'll probably give him, let's give him a few more minutes, Bob. We'll give him a couple minutes, that snake could be out here, too. Yeah, gather our stuff, and then we'll go out there and do our thing. All right, we'll be back in a few. Okay, I just hopped out of the blind. Robert's climbed out of the blind. We gave him 15, 20 minutes or something. Obviously, he was, he was done. He went not even 20 yards. Myself or this is really cool. We got jumping at the shot, and not getting that impact on video. Damn it! Let's walk over to where he was in the blind. About 25 yards was the shot. Man, I was dead sound asleep. right there in the water. Look at all the hair from the broadhead slice. Your arrow's got to be here somewhere. Where is it? Oh. Where have we seen this before? Yeah. Let's see, good old Thunderhead, old school stuff, old school guy, old school equipment, but it worked. Got a stud buck, Robert. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's a stud. Archery. Archery, Oregon antelope, that's a dandy. I wouldn't pass him any day. Oh yeah, right in the V. Probably 12 inches or so. Yeah, 13, 13 and a half. He's got a lot of hair. Perfect shot, 25 yards. That's a good buck, Robert. Yeah. Awesome. We'll get him cleaned up and stuff and set him up and take some pictures, but that couldn't have worked out perfect. You know, I I was dead asleep. Poked my head out the window and he was, he was probably only 60 yards and coming in, he didn't even stop, just trucked right in the whole way. He didn't even care. And then uh, 
I was scrambling to get the GoPro turned on and get my camera set up on the tripod and I didn't have time. He was looking and stuff and I was just doing the handheld deal with the phone trying to film and of course at the shot I jumped messed it all up. God I'm so bummed at myself for that but I got him falling on film. He didn't go far but awesome, awesome, awesome. Well uh we're gonna set him up and take some nice pictures now. That's uh four years in a row for us for yep. Antelope. Yep. Four years in a row hunting this spot for antelope and uh four Pope and Young Antelope. And uh, a couple exceptional ones too, so pretty dang cool. Now what are we gonna do? There's a shed laying right there. Shed horn or a spit. Looks like a shed. Bob says there's a shed behind me, but I'm Okay, we'll we'll be back with you. Alright guys, it, we just got back to camp, it's a 12.30 opening day, antelope is on ice already, quartered up, we're having celebratory, hopefully you can see that, root beer floats out here in the middle of freaking nowhere, uh, we got the AC on in the camper because it's hot, especially after our bike ride, <coughs> packing gear and that antelope out of there and stuff it's been a good day so uh, we're gonna chill out here for a little bit kind of hang out and get things in order relax and then uh, we gotta go back to the blind and clean some you know get our chairs and stuff out of there There's, we left some gear in there so pretty awesome day pretty awesome day Bob yeah. has the best wife ever <laughs> oh yeah this, this was all Bob's wife thanks to Connie for hooking us up with the uh, root beer float idea that was awesome thanks Connie all right guys stay tuned all right that's a uh, that's a wrap we've packed up and we are currently on our way home what's the second day of season yes it is for those uh, less fortunate than us uh, they're still out there in the uh, sweltering heat yeah so good luck to uh, everybody that's still out there hunting uh, I have no doubt you all will uh, have some success. And uh, thanks guys for watching the little uh, two-part series mini YouTube daily vlog series thing that we put together. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, 